Hey there, do you wanna be debt free in 2023? Yeah, this video is the key to getting your financial freedom back. Now what I don't necessarily mean is getting it all paid off this year, but stay tuned because the biggest hurdle to overcome with financial freedom or a life of freedom away from excess debt is the psychological hurdle. Everything I'm about to say is actually not complex at all. It's actually quite easy to do once you get past the psychological hurdle. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like that's not a monstrous hurdle in itself because it it is. But the good news is there's no better feeling in the world than gaining control over something that is infringing on your freedom. You see, the problem with debt and overcoming it is no different than well, what you may perceive as an insurmountable feat you want to overcome. And once you get a taste for freedom wellness, you'll become addicted. And this feeling is better than dopamine, drugs, alcohol, and even sex. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed by debt and unsure how to get out of it, don't worry, you're not alone, but don't panic. Because with a solid plan and some determination, you too can become debt free and regain financial stability. And here's how. But first, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Trust us, you don't wanna miss out on more of this financial genius. Now, if you're not an already a Swain client, what are you waiting for? You know, let's have a chat and see how we can help your business soar. But seriously, if you're wondering why an accountant is talking about this kind of stuff on a channel, it's because we're not just about the numbers. We're also about the people. And the stuff we talk about here is the same stuff we chat about with all of our clients. So if you're a small business owner, let's schedule a chat and see how we can take your company to new heights. Okay, here's what you need to do to get back your financial freedom. Step one, it's time to make a budget. And oh, I know, I hate that word too, but what I'm really talking about is visibility. Until you can truly visualize where the money's going, it's gonna be a big shit pile in your head and we need to get it out so we can look at it and make adjustments. You don't have to complicate things or make this look pretty. Just make a list of all your moolah coming in and out, including those pesky debts, and boom. Now you can see where all your cash is disappearing to and you can find out how to stop the bleeding. And just think, with the budget, you'll finally be able to afford that pet rock you've always wanted, like, like this one here. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, step two. Listen up, folks. If you want to send that debt packing, it's time to cut off the borrowing. No more credit cards, loans, or any of the forms of borrowing. And I know it might be tough at first, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll feel like a big weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Plus, you'll finally be able to afford something infinitely better than things. Air. Yes, that's right. No more borrowing means you can finally start breathing easily. Financial freedom awaits, my friends. Things suck. Freedom doesn't. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, and technically it was Tyler Durden from Fight Club who said it, but he was right. The things you own end up owning you. Things will not make you happy. Debt won't make you happy. So why do we ever want to get back into this mess? We don't. No more borrowing. Step three. Okay, it's time to get organized and prioritize those debts. Exciting, isn't it? But it's necessary. Take out that list of debts and rank them based on those pesky interest rates and fees. The ones with the highest rates should be at the top of the list. Trust me, it'll save you some serious dough in the long run. Step four, it's time to kick those debts to the curb. Now that you can visualize those debts, take that list and start strategizing. Maybe make some larger payments on those with the highest interest rates while just barely scraping by with the minimum payments on the others. So trust me, a little sacrifice now will pay off in the long run. Maybe put the strategy into spreadsheet and play around a bit to see what could be. Who doesn't love a good spreadsheet? And if you're not good with spreadsheets, there is help out there. You just need to do a little looking. I actually have just the people for you who I'll introduce at the end of this video. Step five, consider consolidating those debts and make life a little easier. If you've got multiple debts with sky high interest rates, it might be time to combine them into one big happy loan with a lower interest rate. Not only will you save some serious cash on interest, but you'll also have a much easier time keeping track of those debts. But a word to the wise here, this will give you a bit of unearned sense of relief and you may be tempted to fall back on some of these habits that got you into this mess in the first place because your monthly cash will be a little better 
and why not buy that dress or go get that ATV? And now you're worse off. So, nope, we're not gonna take that extra money and throw it away. We're gonna throw it right at the debt. You're gonna remember that freedom is the medicine we are chasing and not retail therapy. Soul soothing, tantric inducing freedom. And finally, step six, it might be time to ask for some backup. You know, becoming debt free isn't exactly a walk in the park. So don't be afraid to ask for a little or a lot of support. There's lots of it out there. Maybe consider seeking out a financial advisor, a credit counselor, or even a support group for people in debt. You're not alone in this battle and you might make some new friends to commiserate with. One of the firms I work with regularly is Allen Marshall and Associates, and I specifically work with Marianne Marriott, also known as Dr. Debt, and she's absolutely great. So check them out if you need help. I will put their coordinates in the show notes. So in conclusion, are you ready to take control of your debts and work towards financial freedom? Follow these steps and you'll be on your way. It'll take some time and discipline, but the sense of accomplishment you'll feel will be totally worth it. And you and you alone would have accomplished a real feat in today's age of instant gratification. Your soul will thank you. So give these tips a try. Actually, no, in the words of Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more soul-soothing financial wisdom just like this. Stay healthy, my friends.